the course. Those stories and more coming up. But now, the tiny town of Winters, with its population of around 5,000, certainly pales in comparison to some of our state's larger metropolitan areas. And while Winters may not be as big as Los Angeles or San Francisco, the townsfolk definitely have a fighting spirit. They've rallied around one of their own, a doctor, trying to preserve both his practice and his principles in pursuit of a more rural way of life. During harvest, farmer Joe Martinez is one of the busiest men in town. But even in the midst of all this activity, Martinez has taken on another task to benefit another busy man in his community. There's a new hero in the town of Winters, and no, it's not a professional athlete or a famous celebrity. Instead, it's the medical miracle on Main Street. And there's just all on the outside where it's kind of flaky here. That medical miracle is Dr. Bill Davis. I've seen the level of health care that he's given my family over the personal, over the years, and when my mom was before she passed away, and, mm -hmm. and uh, then I have a brother that has some special needs, and Dr. Davis is just fantastic with him. So fantastic that Martinez has added to his busy schedule to serve as president of the board for the newly formed Winters Healthcare Foundation. One goal of the nonprofit foundation is to support Dr. Davis in his decision to leave a local medical group and the HMO-driven world of managed care. It just seems like the right thing to do. The amount of time and effort it takes to figure out how to deal with all the, the bureaucracy has become greater than medical care of people. And the people of this agrarian community appreciate the stance he has taken. I like Dr. Davis's independence from the medical industrial um, complex and his allegiance to the patient rather than the, the well, industry. We've had a tradition and a history in winters of, of community-based doctors, doctors that are part of our town, that are involved with the PTA, Little League, uh, Rotary Club. That, are, that you could see on the street and speak with them and who would have always had the time for their patients. And when we started, when I realized and the community realized that we were going to lose Dr. Davis because he's that type of doctor, we all came together and, and we knew that something had to be done. The foundation was formed to keep Dr. Davis in town and allow his slower paced, old fashioned style of practicing medicine, even making house calls, to continue. In just over a year of existence, through donations and fundraisers, they've raised about one half of their $500,000 goal. You know, it was gratifying that they cared enough about me personally and about my style of medicine to, to want to keep this around for those who preferred a more personal approach. It's nice, and we have a doctor we can trust. He's very good with the children. Will the other way hurt? <laughs> good question. <laughs> he treats each person as an individual. He makes the time to, to be with you, to ask you questions, to have a conversation. It's almost like rather than you're talking to a doctor, you're really like, it's like you're talking to your best friend. A friend the rural town of Winters hopes to maintain a healthy relationship with for a long time. For more details about the Winters Healthcare Foundation, go to our website. Speaking of doctors and medicine, did you know that honey is believed by many to be good for your health? Current medical research suggests honey as a treatment for stomach ulcers and burns. And this sweet nectar is even lauded for its cancer-fighting properties. But one California farming family may not be medical experts, but they are experts in bees and honey. And they're introducing a popular new item, and Melissa shows us why. Nestled in the quiet countryside of